Hello, fellow comic book lovers, collectors, and aficionados. Vin Crew here with my weekly bitch, my back issue comic haul. And, um, yeah, I just uh, went through, a, boy, a couple of, probably picked up, I don't know, close to 200 books this week. Um, and I don't think I spent more than 80 cents on most all of them. I think there was one book I bought at cover. Uh, so, yeah, let's get going here. So, um... First one here, oh, what do we want to start with? Let's start with this one. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. This is issue number one out of volume one. And this book here, it's already a hard one to find a little bit, but if you can see right there where it says one of six down there um, in parentheses, if you can find that without the six on there, very rare, hard to find. It came with like a CD or something, I believe, but uh, pretty interesting. Found a uh, Weird Western Tales number 17 with Jonah Hex. Uh, this one, working on my halves. I always like my wizard halves. I'm still working on that. So that's super, Project Superpowers. Not real familiar with that. This is Justice Society 41. The only reason I'm pointing this one out is that, yay, I'm done with this series. It's another one I can take off my, uh, my uh, uh, list here. So... And this is another series that I just finished. Here's issue 143 with Joker and Raish. There's another Joker cover, 144, and 188 of the D Legends of the Dark Knight. So I have all 214 of those. Very happy about that. Thunderbolts 100. The only reason I'm showing this is that if anybody has an issue 92, I believe it is, of this series, and they'd like to trade, let me know. It's the only one I need. Here's another issue that, or a series that I just finished this week. Uh, Marvel Comics Presents, there's 137, and I love this cover of 149. Um, you know, it's not a tough series to complete by any means, but happy to have it off the list. Another other couple series that I just finished this week, Captain America 50. believe that's out of the fourth series, and then this is 32 out of the third series. If I have them switched, please forgive me, um, but I now, with those two books, have... Captain America series one, two, three, four, and five complete. So I don't think I'm going to worry about six. Uh, picked up some more Deadpool just because it's Deadpool. There's number six, number 11. If I can get them for a buck or less than a buck, I'll pick them up all day long. There's one with Hawkeye. I love that. Number 12. This one here is uh, um, Bob, the agent of Hydra's first appearance. It's in Cable and Deadpool number 38. So if you can find that one, I'd suggest picking it up. Here's another one that you might want to put on your radar. Cable and Deadpool number 30. Reason being is that this is one of the few appearances of Squirrel Girl on a cover. So um, if and when she gets more hot, uh, you might want to look for it, especially if you can get it for a dollar. Um, and it's Deadpool. So another Deadpool book, Rank and Foul. This kind of is like the who's who of uh, Deadpool and his gallery, gallery of uh, compadres. It's uh, pretty cool. There's Domino and Hip Monkey in here and all these other people. So um, I believe Agent X would be in there. Uh, this is the one book I paid cover for. This is Deadpool's Art of War number one. It's the one in 25 variant. I paid cover for it last 10%. Um, all right, moving on. Okay, now these next books, I, I want, there's a guy that's real, real close to me, probably the closest comic shop, but I rarely go to him. He's just, he's so disorganized. His boxes are laying on the floor, literally. They're all dollar boxes. And 90% of it comes from a friend of mine that uh, that I buy from and get him for 50 cents. And he, this guy charges a buck for him. So, um, But I had been hearing stories that he had been buying more collections from other people. So I thought... Yeah, what the heck, I'll go check it out. And this is some of the stuff I got. I got this for about 80 cents a book, I suppose it was. Um, I'm not going to show it all, but this is the 10th Muse. It's just a cover swipe, obviously, of the Avengers. Very, very cool looking. I loved it, so I just grabbed it. Here we go. Uh, Hippie uh, Tom and Matt. The uh, Living Corpse, one half. Um, Power Girl, 14. This one I thought was kind of interesting. The this is tangent. It's obviously out of continuity for the DC universe, but this is the Joker's Wild, and it's a female version of Joker. 
but she, this actually looks more like Harley Quinn to me than a Joker. But for 80 cents, I thought it was pretty cool. Picked up some new 52 Flash, 7, 8, and 9. This one I just picked up because it featured Ragnarok, and for 80 cents, I thought, what the heck. Marvel Spotlight on Thor, Return from Ragnarok right there. This one I picked up because it had Deadpool on the cover, and it just looked kind of cool to me. Hulked Out Heroes, number 2. Uh, Age of Apocalypse, The Chosen. Justice League, this is number 15. This is the Billy Tucci variant. Did not have that. Um, a Mad variant to Justice League number three. Justice League of America number three. Sorry, there is a Justice League. Um, this one I thought was kind of cool. This is the Winter Soldier number two, the uh, 50th anniversary of Spider-Man uh, um, uh, variant. So um, it has Black Cat, Miss Marvel, Mary Jane, Spider-Woman, a whole bunch more. I uh, wanted, uh, this is Spectacular Spider-Man 255. This is the variant, um, the Wanted variant. They did them in all of the books, I believe, and the Amazing Spider-Man one is the money book. Um, rough Cut to Fantastic Four, uh, the end, number one. Teen Titans 34, second print sketch. This is the retailer incentive for Teen Titans 50. Uh, happy to get that for 80 cents. A couple of Hellboys. I know nothing about how these Hellboys work in Dark Horse. They confuse the bejesus out of me. I don't know which comes first. And you know, but uh, that's what is that in Chapel of Moloch uh, and the Crooked Man number three of three. This one very happy to get for 80 cents. Check that out. Vampirilla number one. Adam Hughes cover. Oh, that is just killer, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful book. Uh, any Invincibles that I can pick up for a dollar, I will. That's number 93. Clyde Barker's Nightbreed featuring Rawhide Rex. Uh, this is the first appearance of Rawhide Rex, who's a very uh, fan favorite of Nightbreed. So if you're a favorite of, uh, fan of Nightbreed, you might want to put 13 on your radar. Lucifer, number 3. I'll pick up any early Lucifers. Uh, I just love these Mystique covers. That's why I'm trying to pick them all up. There's number 8. 9, uh, 15, oh no, what is that, 10, excuse me, 11, 15, here's 15, 16, and then the last issue, 24, so just beautiful covers, I don't even know who, Mayhew did these covers, just really love them, so trying to get that whole series, it only went 24 issues, so it's not a big, big deal to get that complete. Uh, picked up some more original Suicide Squad, number 13, number 14, number 41, 43, 49. This, I think, is a double, but this 48 and 49, if you can find these, if you're a fan of The Killing Joke, this rehashes, readdresses The Killing Joke. So um, you might want to put that on your radar. Number 50. With a zombie variant there, or it's not a variant, but a zombie cover. Um, these Batgirl spoilers becoming very popular, so and I way late on the bandwagon on this. Uh, so I'm trying to find these now. Number twelve, number eleven, number twenty. I would like to see whether twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, uh, twenty-four, and twenty-nine. And I picked up uh, number eight out of the new fifty-two. Picked up the Mad Variant of Batman 19 out of the New 52. Batman 66, number one. All of these were 80 cents each. Maybe even less than that. I can't know. Uh, here's Detective 872 and 874. Both of these are doubles. They're, they're part of the Schneider Jacques run. Um, if anybody has an 871, if you want to trade or sell that, please hit me up. I am just getting desperate for that book. If I can get that 871, I have from 594, I think it is, until the series ends on 881. So, I don't know. Uh, new 52, number 10 detective, number 17 for 80 cents. I'm going to buy them all day long. This one, happy to see. Green Arrow and Black Canary 15, first, new, first appearance of Cupid. She's going to show up in next week's uh, um, um, Arrow. That should be cool. Uh, 
some green lanterns. This is out of the Jeff Johns run out of the new 52. He went from 1 through 20, I believe. There's 8, 9, oh, 11, 12. And this book here, this should be on your radar for a couple of reasons. This is number 20. This is the last issue that Jeff Johns did on Green Lantern. And also, it's the first appearance of, I believe her name is Jessica Cruz. She's a new Green Lantern. Some people are speculating. Once again, I have no way to substantiate this or corroborate it. I'm just reading on some websites that some people are thinking that she might be the Green Lantern for the Justice League movie. Who knows? But if you can find the book for, you know, and if you look at mycomicshop.com, there's people trying to get 20 bucks for this book. So I have no idea if they're actually selling it for that much. But since he had two of them for 80 cents, I grabbed them both. Uh, 25. 26 and 27. So I uh, grabbed all those. Uh, Annihilation, anything Annihilation, I'll grab three or four for Nova. I love these Greg Horn Miss Marvel covers right here. I'm trying to work on finishing that run. Pretty darn close now. There's what is that? Number 12, 16, uh, the zombie variant to 20. And I don't think Korn did these covers. Maybe, yeah, he did. Uh, this is 22 and number 40. This is not Greg Korn. I'm almost positive. I'm not sure who did this cover, but look at this cover. Man, I wish I knew about this book. I would buy these all day long. This is such a cool-looking cover to me. Deadpool, Wolverine, Spider-Man, and Miss Marvel. I'll take that all day long. I have no idea what that thing sells for, but I think you could get a pretty penny maybe. I don't know. Marvel Zombies Destroys. I love the Howard the Duck right there. This one, Man Thing number three. Beautiful copy of it. Uh, and that's the first appearance of Fool Killer. So I'm happy to have. This is like my third copy of this one. So if anybody's interested in doing a trade, let me know. All right. Moving on. Carnage USA 105. And Carnage five of five i think this is the same series i think i'm just i'm not 100 percent sure on that but if not i'm happy to have anything carnage some more agent x number three number six number 11 this as i said is a direct rip off of deadpool so um punisher number one the only reason i picked this up is it's the only other cover uh, book i needed for the wrightsons uh, bernie wrightson did three covers i believe on this series one two and three I already have two and three, just beautiful artwork on that. Rise of Apocalypse, number two, for 80 cents. This is a duplicate, so I, I think I have three and two I have doubles of. So um, some a next number two. Number four, this is the first appearance of Sharon Carter, Dream Team, uh, Dream American Dream. I'll spit it out. Uh, Shannon Carter, excuse me, Shannon Carter, not Sharon Carter. Uh, American Dream. Um, there's uh, number five. Number seven, this is the first Cassandra Lang, uh, Hank and uh, Janet Van Dyne's uh, daughter. Number eight, I believe that is. Nine and 11. I love that cover. That looks cool as hell. And then since uh, I had the American Dream, I just saw this book, and for 80 cents, I grabbed it. Last Hero Standing, number one. Um, beautiful Avengers, Miss... Uh, uh, Miss uh, or Spider-Girl, A-Next, Fantastic Four, all sorts of heroes on there, really cool. This book is interesting. been looking for this one for a little while. It actually starts with issue 21 of Namer, but if you recall, uh, Danny Rand, Iron Fist, dies in issue 125 of Power Man and uh, Iron Fist, which really caused a lot of uproar. Not a lot, but I mean, he had a pretty good cult following back then, and people were upset that they just offed him for no big reason. And so this is the issue that reintroduces Danny Rand. And they claim that the one that was killed is a doppelganger. But anyways, this is the reintroduction of uh, Iron Fist. Uh, so uh, after issue 125, picked up some uh, Wonder Woman first series, 314 and 315. Big Hero 6, number 5 of 5. Haven't seen the movie yet. Heard some great things about it. Sunfire in the Big Hero 6, number 3 for 80 cents. I'll pick that up all day long. Some Toxin, number 1, 2, 
and three. So I now have this little mini series complete. That's pretty cool. Picked up another copy of Nomad number four. This is the uh, the uh, it's the fourth appearance of Deadpool, and it's the first appearance of Deadpool out of any X uh, book. So any X Back Force or any of that. So all right, New Mutants, obviously. Um, speaking of Deadpool, right there, World War Hulk's classified. That's a second copy if anybody wants to trade. Venom number six, 19 and 20. What if number 108? This is like a continuation of the, um, the uh, Surfer Carnage uh, um, two parter in Amazing Spider Man. I think it's 430 and 431. Uh, that's a double two if anybody wants to trade. Beautiful cover on that one. Simpsons, uh, that's number one. This is the first Simpsons in comics ever. That's a double also, and it is polybagged with the, uh, with, the, uh, with the poster in it. And then these last two books I was really happy to have. So uh, this first book is Universe X Special Spidey. Um, I tried sh showing this in my... my I, I, this is my second time shooting this because the first time this wouldn't show up. I tried showing the book itself, but I found it this way. So hopefully this will help uh, clarify. This is the recall edition. And what I mean by that is that this is when Harris left Marvel, uh, Romita hated the guy. And um, he wrote on the books on page 28. This is all this writing on those books right there says, uh, ha ha, Harris is gone. He was an SOB to work with, sort of things like that. <laughs> really derogatory. Marvel obviously caught it and um, retracted it, recalled the issues. And then they, they did those, I blank, I believe they're blank books on the shelf at, in the recall, the corrected edition. So you want to look for the ones with the writing on it. And then how about this? Last book for 80 cents. Mighty Avengers number three, the M&M variant. This book right now is still selling for $30 to $40 on eBay. At one time, it was an $80 to a $200 book. So finding this in the wild for $0.80, cents, super happy. This is Vin Crew saying thank you for watching and signing off.